Another weakness found in altogether too many people is the habit of measuring everything and everyone by their own impressions and beliefs. Some who will hear this will believe that no one can think and grow rich. They cannot think in terms of riches because their thought habits have been steeped in poverty, want, misery, failure, and defeat. These unfortunate people remind me of a prominent Chinese who came to America to be educated in American ways. He attended the University of Chicago. One day, President Harper met this young Oriental on the campus, stopped to chat with him for a few minutes, and asked what had impressed him as being the most noticeable characteristic of the American people. Why, the Chinaman exclaimed, the queer slant of your eyes. Your eyes are off slant. What do we say about the Chinese? We refuse to believe that which we do not understand. We foolishly believe that our own limitations are the proper measure of limitations. Sure, the other fellow's eyes are off slant because they are not the same as our own. Millions of people look at the achievements of Henry Ford after he has arrived and envy him because of his good fortune or luck or genius or whatever it is that they credit for Ford's fortune. Perhaps one person in every hundred thousand knows the secret of Ford's success, and those who do know are too modest or too reluctant to speak of it because of its simplicity. A single transaction will illustrate the secret perfectly. A few years back, Ford decided to produce his now famous V8 motor. He chose to build an engine with the entire eight cylinders cast in one block and instructed his engineers to produce a design for the engine. The design was placed on paper, but the engineers agreed to a man that it was simply impossible to cast an eight-cylinder gas engine block in one piece. Ford said, produce it anyway. But, they replied, it's impossible. Go ahead, Ford commanded, and stay on the job until you succeed, no matter how much time is required. The engineers went ahead. There was nothing else for them to do if they were to remain on the Ford staff. Six months went by. Nothing happened. Another six months passed, and still nothing happened.